Hi, my name is Gordy Knudsen. I'm the head of the drum department here at McNally Smith College, and I'd like to talk to you about the audition process. There are two ways you can audition for the college. You can do a live audition or send in a DVD audition. We would prefer doing the live audition, but sometimes this is impossible or impractical due to time or location or financial constraints. So first I'd like to talk about if you submit a DVD, if you go to the website, there's a sheet that explains all of the requirements for creating this visual uh, audition. Please follow the instructions exactly as they're stated on the paper. Due to the nature of camcorders and the built-in compressors on camcorders, once you announce what you're going to play, which number you're going to do, I'm going to play such and such, then you play it, then count to five or ten before you announce the next thing that you're going to play. Otherwise, um, we w I won't hear what you have to say. The video compress the compressor on the audio stuff shuts down so hard after drum set stuff that you won't be I won't be able to hear what you're saying. And it's very important for me to hear what it is that you're playing for the audition. Okay, for the live audition process, um, we do a little bit different thing. I'll check your sight reading ability. I'll ask you to play four basic rudiments for me, double stroke roll, buzz roll, single paradiddles, five stroke rolls hand to hand. And then I'll have you do several different things. We'll do a little play along with, uh, with a CD with uh, some recorded bass lines. I want to hear how well you play with the existing track. I'll throw a bunch of different feels at you several, uh, five, six different backbeat kind of things. And then I'd also like to hear a bossa nova, a samba, some kind of a Latin feel. The track that we use, you can play a soca, a sango, or mambo, or even a backbeat kind of thing to it. Uh, and some swing. The main thing I'm listening for is your musical sensitivity, how well you lock with the track and hear phrases. Then we'll do a little thing that I call a musical conversation. We'll set up a time field and uh, trade some two and four bar phrases. So it's like, it's not about copying what I'm doing, but it's about having a conversation with someone. Do you know how long to talk, when to start, and when to stop in this musical conversation? Can you hear two bar phrases, four bar phrases? Very important piece of playing music. And the last thing we'll do is I'll test your rhythmic ear. I will play a one measure rhythm on the snare drum, no flams, no drum stuff, rudiments, rolls, drags, or any of that, just straight up rhythm. I'll play it four times in a row and have you play it back for me. If you're considering going to a music school, obviously you're pondering the concept of a uh, career in the music business. This is a very difficult way to make a living. It can be very rewarding, but it's also very difficult. So some things I would like to ask uh, the students who are auditioning, how much are you practicing? This is an indication to me of how serious you are about pursuing this career. If you're talking about a half hour a day or an hour a day, uh, it's, that's okay, more would be better. Another big thing I ask students coming in here, are you taking private lessons? And if you're not, why not? You, it, you will learn more, you will be better prepared to succeed at school. Again, this is a highly competitive business. The more skills you have together, the better opportunity you have to succeed. The better you can walk in, the better you'll walk out.